I got something really rare. A little pocky gun. Oh yeah. Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV here in Austria with the Lignos pistol out here freezing our lig nuts off with my buddy Wolfgang from Black Trident. Wolfgang, let's talk about this weird little pistol. The, the Einhand? Einhand? Yes, so this is actually a model of the Bergmann Einhand Pistola. So Einhand is like one-handed. And the interesting thing about this firearm that makes it unique is that you can actually pull back the slide with your trigger finger. Here, you can rack the slide from the front. Now, um, what's really interesting is the history of, of these. Because back then, after the First World War, many people lost their hand or, or uh, similar, and they weren't able to actually work their pistol with both hands. So that is why they came with this pistol design. You still got a safety on it, so uh, you can do that. And the magazine gets inserted for the bottom, holds here like you know from many other firearms. And there's also um, a chamber indicator back here. And I'm just going to shoot it. So, got the magazine inserted. Now I rack the slide. And let's see how it does. It's not chambered. Not chambered? There you go. There you go. Okay, so it, it feels really soft. So, shooting it, it actually feels like it doesn't have any recoil at all. And super interesting system. And again, you can manipulate it with one finger. <laughs> Actually, the design of this is from 1910 um, and 1912 was when it first got into mass production. This here actually is a model past 1928. So this is the, from Lignose because it was later bought from Bergman. And yeah, super interesting model. It's just a little baby, 25 ACP, not a lot of recoil. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There is no recoil. There's no right? recoil at all. Th that's pretty pretty dope, actually. Like this is uh, shoot somebody at a card game with this son of a bitch. You guys have those over here, card games? Degenerate gamblers? Is that a thing in Austria? Uh, dude, this thing's awesome. Here, check that out. Whoop. Little pocky gun. Oh yeah, dude. Put that in your pocky. Walk around downtown Vienna. Nobody would know. I'm not your lawyer, this is not legal advice. Next to, uh, we, are, we just shot it, it's, it feels like... There's no recoil. There is no recoil, yeah. not at all. Um, it also got a loading chamber indicator and yeah, super funny thing to shoot. Yeah, right, and it was what, eight plus one? I think it was eight rounds in the magazine. I, I don't even eight. remember, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I wanna say like eight, so decent capacity, like nine rounds, yeah. really slim. If you look at the features, those sights are possibly the worst. I, yes, I've ever seen. They are uh, practically non-existent. Ever, yeah, but, they, they um, do not exist. Yeah, but the caliber is also very small, so yeah. 635, it's 25 ACP, and this is usually um, a caliber, like after the Second World War, many people had like these as pocket pistols. So yeah, this was sure. definitely something you just had to fight for a very close distance, and that is what these were made for. Also, like if you look at other mod models like the FM Baby Browning and so mm -hmm. on, so yeah. It seemed fairly reliable. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it, it yeah. worked. Yeah. And we were talking with uh, some of the other guys around here, and I think somebody said that one of the market considerations for this pistol was the fact that, like, there were guys coming back from mm -hmm. the war or whatever mm -hmm. and may have, like, uh, injured a, a hand yes. or injured mm -hmm. an arm. And so they, they came out with these, so you yep. could just do everything. And you really can do this one handed. You can. you can. Yeah, you can put a magazine in there, cycle it, and uh, yep. go to work. So totally, yeah. it's got a little safety with a, a slide stop. Yes, on there's it. even a slide stop, so yeah. it, it it works like both ways. So the safety on the other end is here. So you either can just save the trigger or as a slide stop. So super interesting. <laughs> and to cap it all off, it's even got some pretty handsome branded grips. 
Yes. There, look at that. Wolfgang, had you shot one of these before today? Uh, not before today, but yeah. I was, uh, all, when we shot it, I was expecting all oh, the recoil. There might be some recoil to it because mm -hmm. it's it's so small, but it feels like nothing. So Is this your new concealed carry piece? This would be total be? if you want to do mag dumps all over for eight shots. This is it. <laughs> I'm going to be rolling around Vienna tonight with that bad boy in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you, Wolfgang, of course, for showing us everything and for showing us around today. We've had a great time You're here welcome. in Austria having a look at a bunch of cool old guns. We're going to be bringing you guys more content from Austria, so stay tuned. Thanks to Black Trident for having us, guys. Take care.